Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, finally, going to have a look at the Bismarck BS. 69. It's a body timber sound one player. It's amazing. Sure is. But first, we're going to kick off the really cool artist by the name of Jerry Gomes, and this is his latest single, All Torn Down.
Welcome to the show. My name's Jay. This is How to App on iOS. And that was Jerry Gomes, uh, a fabulous Patreon of the channel. And what an amazing song, huh? This dude, this dude, Jerry Gomes, he has gone from strength to strength. Um, came across his music, um, I think, mainly when he joined the Patreon. That's when I really first got to hear his stuff. And I think I've mastered maybe three tracks of his. Maybe that's the fourth one I've done. But um, talk about growth as an artist. Just growth. It's amazing. It, 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 I feel so lucky every day to do this show, get up here and talk shit about apps and, and make some music occasionally myself. But to see other people grow is just... You can't, there's no words, man. There's no words. It's just, it's so fantastic. It's, it's, it's so wonderful. And that is just a great song. It's available now on all the streaming services. That's his video clip. Reminds me of um, Midnight Oil when they were in their prime before <laughs> Peter Garrett became a politician and screwed everything up. Um, <laughs> and I, there's a pinned comment up the top if you want to go in there. It's the link there. Um, oh, what's going on? Oh, I clicked, I actually clicked on a link. How good's that? Where's the comment? There it is. There's the comment. You can go and do that and do all the stuff and go, go stream his music, go support an artist. Yeah, do it. You'll feel good. You'll feel better about yourself. Anyway, um, I want to also welcome all the Walt Warriors along. For as little as a dollar, for a dollar a month, you can become a Walt Warrior. And we're coming to the end of the month, guys. Not only do you get the little emojis that are in the chat over there. Is it over there? There, see this chat here? Look at this floating chat. You get cool little emojis, which I try and change up every day. So if you check, you could be in there today or you might not be. Um, yeah, And it's coming up to the end of the month and we are going to be hosting, me and Russ, our special event at the end of this month, which will be the YouTube Music Creators Quiz. Gonna have to come up with a catchier name than that. That name sucks. It definitely sucks. Um, but we're, we're doing a quiz about your music. Yeah, you got your music live, which is coming up after this show today. But we're gonna do. Maybe you should do that. Your music quiz. There we go. There, solve problem solved. Uh, let's say hello to everybody in the chat, shall we? Let me close this. And today I'm gonna have to make sure I close things in the background. Yeah because it's important to do so today. Hello, Thomas Christ. What's going on? Uh, Jim Shannon on Sounds. Thanks, Thomas, for posting the link. So if you want to become a Walt Warrior uh, and you're on a mobile device, you actually have to click this link. You can't do it. You can't physically do it on the iPad or, or iPhone. There's a link you have to follow. But if you're on a desktop, there's a little join button that you can do. It's super easy. Hello, Trimmer Bear. I hope you are well. Uh, Jazzy Jimmy Shannon on Sounds. What's happening, man? Um, Leela, hello. Russ, 8889. David Collette, hello, my friend. I hope you're well. The beautiful Valerie Bart is in the house. Um, who else? Barry Glenn, who I feel I, I feel attached to at the hip at the moment, and Joe. Um, Joe says the emojis are too small for me to see. They're too small for me to see, too. God. <laughs> Uh, what can you do? I wish I could make them giant, but can't. I feel like I'm glued to John Barry Glenn at the moment. I've been working on their song for the last week really hard. And guess what, guys? It's finished. It's finished and it's awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy how it came out. Um, and I'm sure I think they're working on a video clip for that one. Plus, I think Joe's got her own song she's doing as well for Song Timber. Um, have I missed anyone out of the list here? I'm scrolling up and making sure. I saw uh, Brad. Brad's here. I can't find his writing, but I know Brad's here. There he is. Brad example. He loves his song. Yes. Yeah, I just got your message, Joe. I'll read it. It just came through as the show was starting. <laughs> um, I think I got all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. So what is happening on uh, this week's show? Uh, let's talk about that. I don't know. I don't know. Things things are a little bit sketchy at the moment. I will be honest. 
I'm not sure what order I'm doing things this week. This the, These next two weeks are going to be chaos. I can feel it. I'm already under the pump. I'm only getting about five hours sleep a night. It is what it is, but it's song timber, and it's all going to be worth it for October where I'm just going to take some time off. I think I'm going to take a few days off during October um, just to refresh and do all this kind of stuff because I think it's a wise thing to do. I might actually even take three days off the channel just before I kick in making a video clip, I think it's the right thing to do. We can have a poll and you guys can tell me. <laughs> I'll set up a poll maybe. <laughs> you tell me how many days I have. Off. Russ, <laughs> you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm so glad you know that I won't react to this in a negative way because I know you're such a fucking piece of garbage. <laughs> but you're, my, you're my best mate. <laughs> and I know you're laughing your tits off. But... uh <laughs> Yeah. yeah, let's not talk about the seven hours I spent in this chair last night working my ass off. Anyway, after doing two live streams yesterday, uh, anyway, it, it is what it is, man. You got to keep. Uh, it's funny this YouTube thing. You just got to keep plugging and plugging and plugging to get somewhere, and then you you bust your ass, and then you feel like you take a day off, and everything just goes. Bleh. You take one day off and the whole channel just goes, no views. It's like, what? It's such hard work, man. I, seriously. I should have just done a, you know what channel I should have done? I should have done a celebrity gossip channel where I just talk shit about assholes all day. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? All right. So, yeah, but what we are doing this week is we're going to be looking at this new drum thing from this drum pack, uh, Extinction Level Event from uh, Spectre Digital. Uh, also going to be wrapping up the uh, Methius song. The utensil song is finished, so that's just easy, peasy, beneasy. Going to be looking at a couple of apps this week, and we have an interview at the end of this week with Frank Terzo. So that's what's coming up. I'm not going to show you any graphics because guess what? I don't have any yet. It's too busy. All right, price drops. Um, oi, what's going on? <laughs> All right, here we are. Price drops. Uh, I can tell you that Four Pockets has three of their really popular apps on sale at the moment. And that is Progressions, Digisticks, and New Rack. Three really popular apps. Uh, what have we got? About five bucks off? Yeah, five bucks uh, off Digisticks and New Rack. They're absolutely worth your time. Luma Fusion is on sale, guys. So if you don't have Luma Fusion, you're watching this on the replay, you've just come across my channel, you don't know what Luma Fusion is, you want to looking into make making music videos and stuff for your tunes, this is the app you need. Trust me on this, and it's on sale. And if you want to go and check out my uh, playlists, just go through the playlists and you'll find a shit ton of video playlists and Luma Fusion playlists that will help you make video clips. And if you are... One of those people, in Rocktober, I will be making possibly my most adventurous, grandiose video clip I've ever made. So, you want to like click the subscribe button right now and like and all, as Keanu says, the clicky bits. <laughs> um, Matrix vocoders on sale. I've done a show on that. It's really cool if you're looking for a vocoder. Nice stuff. Uh, so we got Cube Synth Pro, whole bunch of things, lots of sales on always. But today we're looking at this. This is an oldie but a goodie. It is called Bismarck BS16i, yeah? And it's been out for like about five years. Now, I'll tell you a little story about it if the guys from Bismarck are watching. Last year, I sent an email to them saying, hey, would you send me a code for this and the unlocks for it so I can do a show on it? And unfortunately, it was around, I think it was around July last year, so just, just over a year, right? And it was around the time, if those of you have been around the channel for a while, I ended up in hospital for a week and disappeared from the channel. And it was like right the day before I ended up in hospital. And because it was a really chaotic time, when I got back, it was really slow getting back into the show. And I think I just overlooked this. I think I just overlooked it. And 
I knew I had it, but I, I, I assumed I had actually done a show on it. And I went looking through my shows uh, last week after Thomas mentioned this on Thomas Christ Show. And if you're not a member of Thomas Christ Show, Thomas will put a link in the chat that you can go and become one because he's awesome. But Thomas mentioned how good this app is. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've done, a, I've done a show on that. I'll put the link in. No show. So today I'm going to do it because it is something that people need to know about. So what is it? In the show description, you can see here, a multi-timbral sound font player. All right. So what is a sound font? Let's talk about sound fonts. So sound fonts have a very interesting history. If we go to our Wikipedia page here, so we can get a little bit of an, uh, a background history on what sound fonts are. Sound font is a brand name that collectively refers to a file format and associated technology that uses sample-based synthesis to play MIDI files. It was first used with Sound Blaster or 32. If you are an old school computer user, you will have had a Sound Blaster sound card on your computer. We all did. They were the thing. They were the go-to, man. Now we've all got these audio interfaces out, uh, you know, ex Hey, where did my mic go? External audio interfaces. But this was the thing. So uh, the original sound form, uh, format was developed in the early 1990s uh, by Emu Systems and Creative Labs. Creative Labs were behind uh, the, the sound card itself. Yeah, of Sound Blaster. A, spef a specification for this version was never released to the public. The first and only major device to utilize this was Creative uh, Creative Sound Blaster or 32 in 1994. So sound fonts were pretty much taking advantage of, you know, all these great sounds that were happening through MIDI and uh, the revolution of, of, of technology and creating all these sounds. Um, and uh, these days you can find sound fonts all over the internet for free. They come in these files called SF2 files. And here's a website that you can find them on. So if you just do a search anywhere uh, on Google for sound font SF2, you'll come up. This will be the first place that will come up, sound fonts for you. And it's full of uh, sound fonts. So uh, this one here, you can see essential instruments, sets, functions of sound modules, uh, essential keys, whole bunch of these sound fonts, uh, bass plus drums, timpanis, piano sets. And what's really cool is this app that we're looking at today accepts SF2 files, which you can freely download. There's no like copyright or anything like that. These are just freely out there to, for you to grab and you can insert these into this app. But in saying that, this app, uh, BS16i, comes with the most standard sound font pack that you can get, which a lot of apps are out there on iOS that use this. Uh, but yeah, they're really quality sounds. And, it, you know, I recommend everybody who has an iOS device at least has one of these apps and BSI is one of the best. Yeah, it, it's definitely the one to go for. So let's jump in and have a look, shall we, at exactly how it works. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, mm, I'll bet these sounds aren't that good because, you know, they're really old. You'll be surprised. And, you know, it gets to a point sometimes if you're using GarageBand, you feel like you've used all the sounds in there. This is another great little tool to have in your arsenal that you can pull out and have a whole bunch of really cool sounds that you can just whip in there that are a little bit different than GarageBand. And they might be the right sound that just fixes up your sound, your song. So we'll jump in here. Old but gold. Exactly, Russ. Russ has summed it up. You never, never, you know, look down on things that are a little bit aged or like, that's been around for a while. I think everybody's always looking for the newest app and newest jazzy interface and stuff, but don't discredit the stuff that's been around and been the workhorse for a long time. This stuff can change your music. So let's play something that I'm whipped up today. Yeah.
sweet. That'll do. But again, like like always before the show, I just throw together something quickly. Uh, thank God for something like, you know, I've covered this that many times. Progressions is so good, huh? Uh, you can throw together something really easy with progressions and not even think about it, which I like. I like not thinking. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, GW, welcome to the, the stream. I like not thinking. <laughs> Don't be like me. Think. It, it's uh, much better. Think. I recommend thinking. All right. Let's load up an instance of this. And hey, what's going on, Clay? Conspiracy? Music? So I'm going to load up a... Uh, first, what I'm going to do. So this is a standalone project, uh, pro <laughs> standalone product, and it is an AUV3. But it's quite a bit different as an AUV3 than as a standalone. So we'll open it as a standalone first, shall we? This is what you're going to get. And now this is what we say by it is multi-timbral. Multi-timbral. Yes. And what is multi-timbral? So you can layer a whole bunch of sounds in this. In fact, you've got 16. So if I swipe, just showing you how to do it with my finger here. So we're swiping in the middle. And you can swipe between these 16 tracks. So you can layer up 16 instruments in here and, and control them all in one keyboard if you want. Yeah, that's no problem. Or you could send these to 16 separate MIDI channels in a door or something like that. So, Or if you're using something like uh, Layers by Four Pockets, man, you could, you could send, uh, create a, a keyboard with 16 of these all set across a split up keyboard, yeah? There's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. Let's go over here. Pretty big sound. Hey, thanks, David Collette, for the super chat. I've got the dancing man above me. Uh, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. You rock. All right, so we'll jump into the interface. Now, it looks confusing, but don't let it be confusing because most of you are going to be using this as an AUV3. And as I said, it's very different as an AUV3, where as a standalone, you've got all these 16 channels here and you can build up. Uh, an orchestra, you know, a whole thing within this. You can still do the same thing as an AUV3. It's just you have to open individual tracks, individual AUV3s. So at the top here, where we've got this little piano button, this gives you the, uh, gets, it lets you skip through these different views. So you can have two keyboards, if you like, Nice. And, or oh, you can just have one just by clicking on this little keyboard section. I'm going to leave one here at the moment. Hey, Stu. All righty. Or you can skip it over to uh, this. <laughs> boogie woogie dancing man, dancing man. Thanks, Jim, for the super chat. Again, very kind of you at you rock. Um, so this is your other screen. So you can skip between, and when you click on this again, you get another set of uh, options. So clicking between these two, you can see you've got these different screens to play around with. Yes, yes. All right. Um, and what this also is, is a player. This can play MIDI files as well. So it's, it's multi everything. Because you can see here, there's a play button. And there's a stop button. So you can actually import MIDI files. If I hit play now. What? Pretty cool, huh? So there is an import feature here if you just want to import a MIDI track. And then you can go in and choose the individual instruments to make that MIDI file sound great. Pretty Pretty cool. I like that. And here's your little, uh, so we've got our play button 
and our stop button. And here's your progression of the song. Yeah, so you can see where you're up to. And I forgot to silence my phone. All right. Uh, here's your levels. Here is your, so this is where you can open. So this is where you can share MIDI files. You can send these out. You can share a song here. Yeah, whatever's open in your your set. So you can do all this kind of stuff. Do the MIDI files uh, import to Bismarck or on the iOS files area? So you would download the the file, yeah, to, so I'll show you. We'll get there in a second. You've also got here um, some assignments. So you can, uh, you can create uh, presets with scenes. We'll come back to that. Of course, you've got a, a uh, MIDI utility, so you can decide what core MIDI is coming in, what you're playing with, your external. You can see my Arturia Keystep 37 is connected here. So you've got core MIDI outs as well. So you could send this to a door from a standalone. You could send this to Cubasis. You could send this to uh, AUM. You know, lots of, lots of uh, functions. And now we have this little settings thing here. So... Yes. Now, I didn't really talk about the price of this. It is $7.99 US, which is probably, what, £6.99 and a little bit more Australian and Canadian. But you get a shitload of sounds. Now, there are in-app purchases. Now, let's address these. The, with the in-app purchases, there's a 128 Polyphony and there is a high-res synthesizer engine. But let me say this right now. You don't need these to get the most out of this. Absolutely don't. You can, I have them, but if you, if you, you know, it's, it's not a necessity. It's not going to hinder your, your performance or anything like that. Okay. We'll cover what they do, but uh, just let's get that out the way now. Hello, Patrick Chandler. Cheers to you, my friend. So there are in-app purchases, but you don't need them. Yeah. We have scenes here. Now, what scenes are is you can create scenes. Let's click on one and show you what I mean. So if we click this one, what was it called? Uh, piano and synth strings, part one and two layer. So now when I can head back out to this and play, you'll notice we've got a piano and strings. So you can layer up 16 instruments if you really want to all at once. It's sick, man. Really sick. Uh, so you can build scenes in here and you can save a scene. So if you've added a whole bunch of instruments, you can just go and save them. Easy as. Uh, the next thing then is wavetables. This is where you would import your sounds, your SF2 files. So here we are. You can see general user we've got here. These are the sounds that you get built into the app and we'll go through them. There's a lot of them, but this is how you would add some sounds in. So to add sounds, it's really simple. You've got, you would uh, go in here. So we'll go back and show you exactly. You'd click wavetables. You click the live, the, so you've got eight pages that you can add different sound font banks into. Yeah, so you can have eight banks of sound fonts in here and you can swap them in and out. Hi, Jenny. So let's go to number two, because it's empty. And these are some ones I've already imported, but to import one, it's simple. You just go down here to import, find the file and you click on the file. So here's one here. We've got a Sega Master System one. Click on it and it imports in. And then once it's imported in here, it'll pop up in this list here of stuff. So I can now pick one of these. So I've gone ahead and, and these are stuff I've already imported. So let's grab this one first, Guitars Universal. This is one I downloaded from the website, from that website I showed you at the start. So that's how you import a sound font in here. And you can have, as I said, let's grab another one. We'll grab this uh, Essential Keys. And some of these are, some of them are small, some of them are large. Like this Essential Keys one was about 700 meg. The Guitars one was about 400 meg. And some of them are only small and only like 20 meg. Like the, what else do we have here? I think I've got like a, 
a Sega Master System sound bank. So if I grab that one, now we've got a Sega Master System sound. There we go. So easy to import uh, wavetables. This is where you import MIDI files. So you can see here it says songs and we've got a sample MIDI file. So if I click on this, there's here's your samples. You can, again, import a song file. So this is where you would do it. You'd go here, search for your MIDI file, your music MIDI file that you've got on your computer. For example, let's do a search here. Uh, on my iPad, I think I have a whole bunch of MIDIs here in Music Studio. Uh, we've got the Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. What's something I won't get a claim for? <laughs> Try not to get a claim. Frank Zappa. The Beatles, oh man, too much stuff I'll get a claim for. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, should we try this? Let's just try that. Hopefully we won't get a claim for this. So Sonic the Hedgehog Boss Theme Orchestral Remix. So if I click this now, that's been loaded into the song bank. And now if I hit play... Pretty cool, huh? And then I can go in and I can change the instruments out if I want. I can do whatever I want. I can go in and load a different wavetable and choose like the the um, Sega Master System sounds or some orchestral sounds, do whatever I want. Okay, synthesizer. This is the high-res engine. This is what you're paying for the extra in-app purchase. Uh, so you can turn this on. Uh, what it basically lets you do is change up your sample rate. Hello, Tinker. Welcome aboard. So you can change your sample rate in here and do all that. You've got a master tune in here and you can use breath control as expression. So if you've got a an expression pedal or a breath control thing, that'll work. So if you you download the high res engine as an in-app purchase, you can create parts in here as well. Of course, I'm not going to go too in depth into everything today, but you can create parts and skip through parts and create, you know, uh, parts that you can change through that have a whole bunch of instruments change to another part have different instruments in their core um, you can go in and split your keyboard and have the lower part you can go in here and and choose a part for the lower part of your keyboard and for the upper part of your keyboard have a different part you can uh, change up uh, show uh, label put the label only on C or put label on your keys. You can show labels, a whole bunch of keyboard stuff. You can even use uh, a, a, a MIDI typing clicky clacky keyboard kind of uh, thing here to play notes, yeah, musical typing. So you can do that with a keyboard as well. Your velocities are in here too, good stuff. Uh, playback, so this is for your playback of your MIDI files. Uh, core MIDI. So if you're buffering, you're having, you've got a, a shitty old iPad, you can change the latency on here as well. So you're not buffering so much. You can change the buffer size. All that kind of jazz. So there's a, a fair bit of controls under the hood here. Background on, yes, and pretty much. And then you've got a little Bismarck thing here, which takes you to their Facebook page or their Twitter page. Simple. See, I don't want to go to Twitter because I'm banned off Twitter. Fuck Twitter. Right. So there's your, your pretty much your controls. Now, I already, what did I do here? Let's go to wavetables. Um, so I've added these, these sound fonts in here. And now I can go in and choose whatever sound font I want. So let's show you this section. So uh, this view here gives you a... a keyboard to play with, an on-screen keyboard, or if you've got one plugged in like I do here. We've got a timpani loaded up at the moment. So you can do that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, now let's talk about the parts. So let's look up here. Um, these along the top here, when I scroll through these, see these numbers that are changing up the top? I'm changing through here and going back. We're up to like 40, 30. We can go down all the way to zero there. 
We, uh, when we look at that, um, we're talking about there. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. We'll, c we'll come back. <laughs> Let's just look at these tracks. So you can see here in this view, you have four tracks that you can see in front of you. And if you scroll, you'll get to all 16 of them. Yeah, so you can get to them all through here. But you'll notice across the top, uh, we've got this RX channel at the, at the top of each of these. This is your MIDI channel. So you can see across here, both of these are selected to one and they're both tempani. So that means whatever I'm playing on my external keyboard is going to be coming through MIDI channel one. So I can layer things up here. Um, so I can turn all these four. Let's do it. Let's turn this to channel one, this to channel one. So all these four instruments are on channel one. So now when I hit a key, We've got four instruments. Now, unfortunately, we've got two tempanies here. So we'll change this out to something else. And look at all these instruments, man. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. Well, should we put a banjo in there? <laughs> there's so many good things in here. We've got sound effects, raindrops. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. Uh, let's put a Dr. Solo in here. Lovely. And you can do this with up to 16 instruments. So if you went in here and turned all of these MIDI channels to one, we'll go to the full screen. So here's our full screen. When I click up here, this these two bounce between the full screen. So if, now I go in here and change all of these to one. Or even if we go up to, what, eight? We're going to be getting eight different instruments all coming through MIDI channel one. <laughs> And we can change out these instruments. So we've got here, here's where our instruments are. We've got a timpani, Dr. Solo, uh, stereo strings, tremolo, stereo strings, fast, pizzicato Piz strings. We've got stereo strings, tremolo. We already got one of those. So we can change this out to a viola. And then we'll go here. We'll change this one out to, uh, what can we change this to? A double bass. Where do I see a double bass? There's a double bass. And we can change this one out to a cello. So now, pretty shit hot for sound fonts, pretty impressive that you can do this. <laughs> Let's play some chords. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Turn off those chords. So you can see, you can start building up some really, really, really cool stuff. Uh, we'll head back to this screen. So we'll cover a few more things. Now, each track has a volume. So each track has a also has a solo and a mute. So you can mute these out. And when it's muted, you'll see down here, this is muted as well. So you've got a nice little colored representation of solo or muting. Uh, here's where, again, where you choose your instrument. You've got your volume here. You have a pan and a reverb send and reverb, a delay send and a chorus send. So if I turn up the reverb a little and... Uh, we'll Let's just mute these out. So you can hear what's going on with the reverb on these drums. So you turn up the send here. And here's your reverb, chorus, and delay where you can control what's going on in there. So if you click on here, you can control your levels for your reverb. You can delay time, all this stuff. Let's give this a big reverb. Yeah. 
and then you've got a delay. We'll turn this, so we'll send the delay out on this first track. Great. And each track has its own uh, individual. You can decide how much send or chorus you want to send over to the here, and you can control all of that here. So pretty good stuff to have built in to this, yeah, to have a bit of delay and reverb all, all controlled in this as well. You know, when you're using an AUV3, you've got that in there as well, or you can, like, you know, add your own effects on top. Let's talk about the on-screen keyboard here. Uh, so this particular on-screen, which I'm pressing right now instead of my external, you can control the parts here. So here's where you can add your parts in. If you've created uh, certain parts for the lower keyboard or the upper keyboard, you can change these out here. Here is your MIDI channel. So on the fly, you can change the MIDI channel out there because you get, as I said, you've got two on string key on screen keyboards. Yeah. So when you've got both keyboards on the screen, you'll notice this one is set to um, MIDI channel one. I can go and change this out to whatever channel I want and have two different sounds. There you go. If you think you're Yanni, <laughs> perfect for Yanni. You just need a, a huge fan to blow your hair at the same time, and you too can be Yanni. We'll get rid of that second keyboard. Right, so uh, you've got a solo and mute again down here. You can change the octave. Cool stuff. Uh, you've got a sustain pedal. So yeah, all I did was just turn it on. So you got a sustain there as well. Uh, you can scroll. So when you've got this clicked, you can scroll around the keyboard. You can change the width of the keyboard here. So you can make it uh, have three octaves in there. So you've got a far smaller keyboard with more keys there, or you can make it nice and big. <laughs> For people with giant hands, I guess. So you can do that. You've got your volume here. Again, you're panning. So these are the same controls that can be found on each track up here. Yes. Uh, you've got your output. You've got tuning. So you can change this. The, you know, you'll see, if I zoom in, these are contextual here, yeah? So if I claim, click to output, you'll see you've got your volume, pan, and your effects. If we go to tuning, now you can actually fine-tune everything. And you've got a portamento here as well. And then you've got an EQ. So you've got your A, attack, decay, and release. And you've got a filter even. There's even a filter with a Q and cutoff. And there's even an LFO in here as well. So nothing too fancy at all, but all, all in there. And underneath here, again, you can just change out your instrument. Simple as orchestral percussion. Sounds great. Yeah, what do you think? Sounds awesome. So this is the standalone version, as I said. This is everything that you get in the standalone version, plus you can add your MIDI files and all that. But let's show you how you can bounce between, because what we showed you earlier was where you import your wavetables. Uh, hey, Zach, what's happening? Gary Hubs, 
It's happened to my friend and who else? Midnight Bandit, hello. Hope you're all doing well. So, uh, remember we went here in the wave tables? I was just... Uh, there I am. Um, so, we've got four wave tables imported here. So, how do you get between the wave tables? Let me show you. So, let's, um, let's go with this orchestral sound, right? Um, and let's do this. So, I'm going to mute. I'm going to turn all these uh, channels back to two. And we'll focus on one channel. So I'm just going in here and changing all these other instruments to MIDI channel two. Two. Uh, we'll do that over here. Where are we? Two, 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 two. Cool. So we've only got this one, this one here. No, this number one. Cool. So when I click up here on the instrument or down here on the instrument, this is where you get your sounds. And these are the sounds that are built in. This is what you get for your $7.99. And there's a lot. Look at that. There's a lot in here. That's a huge list of sounds. Pretty impressive. And it starts off, of course, with pianos. So you've got a whole heap of pianos. Bright grand pianos. Honky tonk pianos. Electric pianos. FM electric pianos. We're only up to pianos. It's, it's nothing. We've got harpsichord. Drums. Clock and spiels. Rimbus. Xylophones, church bells, um, a tone wheel organ, rock organs, pipe organs, it is even an accordion. <laughs> Guitars. Twelve string even. Now remember, these are sound fonts. These are from the nineties, from the old Sound Blaster sounds. Are they fucking amazing? Are they up to the standard of some of the things like Swarm instruments and stuff? No, of course not. But are they absolutely adequate enough to be in mixes of songs? Fuck oath. Fuck oath. I haven't said that for a long time. Mandolin. Even though there's an 808 garage band. Clean guitars. <laughs> As you can see, funky guitars. So there's a whole lot of stuff. Acoustic bass. lot. Anything you can think of, it's it's in here. We've got basses, slap basses. <laughs> There's a bit. So there's a hell of a lot. We've got saws, violins, lots of stuff. Violas, cellos. It's really, really cool. Even to the point, full orchestras. So you're definitely getting your money's worth for seven bucks, eight bucks. Horns, brass sections, you name it. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, 
Look at this. We've even got <laughs> applause. Jet planes. <laughs> Car crashes. Helicopters. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Explosions. So you do get a, a, a horse galloping. <laughs> get him, boy. Yeah. All right, so how do you change between these, uh, these sound font packs? Well, you'll notice up the top here, you've got this library. Yeah, if I click on this, this takes you to your parts. Uh, where you can see what I've installed in the wavetable section. So here's our guitar one. If I click on this, now it takes us to the guitar part. And there's a whole bunch of much better guitar sounds in this. This beautiful 12 string here. And look at the depth of stuff, nylon, expressive. So you've got expressive stuff, Spanish guitars, single coil pickups. Jazz guitars, there's even a whole bunch of distorted stuff in here. Which we know MIDI distorted guitars, I know, I know, they're, they're never the best. But there's this in here, if you want to add, to, we've even got <laughs> harmonics. So, so if you're sitting there struggling to get a harmonic, there's, you can just find a key on your keyboard. <laughs> Instant death metal. So you've got a whole bunch of different harmonics, which is cool. All right, let's try it at another pack here, another library. So this is an essential keys one. And I found all of these, just so you know, on this website that I showed at the start. So all you need to do is do a search and it's called Sound Fonts For You. And I found all these packs here. Look at them, they're just free to download. Drums, bass sets, keyboard sets. You can find sound fonts all over the internet and you're not, just remember, this isn't like you're downloading game ROMs or pirating anything, all right? So it's, it's okay to download them. It's, it's all right. You're not breaking the law or anything, so don't get, don't get weird. But there's some really beautiful ones in this. Whoops. Some really nice piano sounds in here. Chateau Grand. And again, when you go through this, look at all the instruments. A whole bunch of stuff in here that you... So a Yamaha C5 with some strings. And there's some cellos in here. Some full strings with velocities. And as you can see, there's even, I downloaded this, the Sega Master System sound font. So if we go through these, these are all the sounds that make up So it's, it says organs and stuff, but these are actually, these are all the notes that you'll find built into a Sega Master System. And you can layer all of these. You'll notice some of the sounds, they're, they're quite iconic. Which is lovely. 
Lovely, lovely. I even found, right, I even found, check this out. Let's go into our wavetables here and go to library five. Look at this. Is it it's still in here? Donkey Kong Country sounds. Really? Let's do that. If you're old, if you're as old as me, Donkey Kong Country. So let's grab this Donkey Kong Country thing. We'll go in here and check out these sounds. Go to our library, Donkey Kong Country. That is so iconic. <laughs> These are all the sounds. <laughs> Man, so you definitely. There's even wind sounds from the game Monkey Mayhem. So you've even got the digital sounds of the, the characters in the game. All for free. Bird tweets. And then you could even go in here and load up a song. Donkey Kong Country MIDI, shall we? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I don't have it all set. What the fuck? Let's do this. Hang on. We'll go back. We'll reset this. We'll reset our wavetables. Oops. Let's go in here. Um, what do we do? We'll go in here. Uh, we'll reset. No, everything's still. Let's, how do I do a reset? Let's do this uh, synth. Poly. Da, 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 playback. Don't want to repeat. Um, let's go on a factory reset. Hopefully that's worked. Has it? Yes, it has. Cool, 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 cool. Everything's back to how it was. Cool. Now let's load this Donkey Kong and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get a claim. But you can see the power of this app. It's really, really damn cool, man. It's 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 super cool. All right. So before we go today, uh, let's talk about it as an AUV3 because it is a, is much different than this. As you can see, you can add these 16 instruments. You can create your parts. But as an AUV3, it's a little bit different. So we'll close this out and we'll open it. Let's say in GarageBand, shall we? Do something a little bit different. And um, cool, because you know, guys, how long my garage band takes to open. We'll create a new song here. And uh, what are we going to do? We're going to find sound library. So we're going to audio units. Uh... Oh, man, really? <laughs> Can I just say something here? Since Apple released their latest update to 15.7, I am having to reboot my iPad three times a day because all my AUV3s just vanish. Remember, this was an old bug. This was an old bug, which they kind of fixed. And it's back. It's back and it's fucked. Apple, that's for you. Sort it out, dudes. Really. So now I have to reboot my iPad. It's a thing. It is a thing. Again, I am dealing with this. I don't know why it's happening. So, yeah, I don't know if anybody else is dealing with it. That that bug is just, it's the worst bug. I hope iOS 16 sorts it out, really. It's been with us for so long. All your AUs are uh, loaded into the iPad, but for some reason they just disappear and no apps can find them. And then you have to do a reboot. It is utterly idiotic. And and this is this is Apple, right? I'm gonna go on a rant. This is Apple telling us, oh, but we're gonna like discontinue into app audio because they use the way to go. How is it the way to go if it it's, it just keeps stopping? If we have to keep rebooting our, our devices. It's it's kind of 
counterproductive. Like, get it, get it sorted. Now I can't even load GarageBand. Nice. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Are we back? Now all my AUs are back. Look at that. Cool, cool. All right, so let's find Bismarck. It's, uh, what would it be under? B, wouldn't it? <laughs> there it is. So we can load this as an AUV3. It's just going to take a while, so I'll just have some coffee. Joe says, I have to reboot at least three times a day for whatever reason. There's nothing to do with memory. Yeah. It, the, the, the joys of iOS, I guess, sometimes. The joys of iOS. Uh, Gary, I got um, I finally got Rhino on uh, Mac yesterday because it's uh, half price at the moment. So no more bugs. <laughs> no more bugs. I'll be using it on my Mac now. <laughs> All right. Look how long my GarageBand takes to load a channel. Look at it. There we go. So here's Bismarck. So you'll notice now it's loaded as an AU. Look, it's a completely different interface. This is the interface. There it is, right? So there's no 16... 16 channels anymore, you only get to add one instrument, right? So you only get to add one instrument in here, Glock and Spiel, bang, there it is. But with each instrument, you get all of the send effects for the reverb, chorus, delay, and your Portamento, mono settings or stereo settings. You've got your, your envelope, your filter, and you've got your LFO here as well. So you can turn off your LFO. You can turn up your LFO if you want. So if we add an instrument more like a, what can we add? Um, let's go to some strings. Where you can kind of really hear it. Mono strings tremolo. There we go. So you can see this works really well in GarageBand. You can now copy, duplicate the track, duplicate the track. And this is how you would build up instead of in the standalone, just changing MIDI channels. This is how you would build up a, a full orchestra just by having multiple tracks and then changing the sound in each track. Yeah. So we could then do a orchestral harp. this track or we'll maybe grab like a uh, what do we got uh, some synth strings or uh, this concert choir <laughs> Decent sounds, man. And, and you know, if, if this is something you're looking for, you want to build up a nice, quick, big library uh, for your GarageBand projects that are a little bit different than what you've got in GarageBand, it's eight bucks and you can add as many sound fonts as you want. Just remember the sound fonts do take up a bit of memory. So you've got to be careful with that. Yeah, you do have to be careful. Uh, so we'll close this out so you can see that it works in GarageBand, you know, easy to record. And then you can go in and to your heart's content and hit edit and change all the MIDI if you want. Bring the velocity up a bit there. Cool McCoy.
cool? Cool. Uh, let's show you another thing you can do with it before we get the hell out of here. Already gone over time as usual. Um, if you load it up here in AUM, you can use, like I showed in the demonstration at the start, you can use other apps to control it. Like, uh, so create a MIDI channel here and uh, say we'll, we'll open BS1, BS16, what am I saying, BS1. And we'll go in here and let's load up, um, say, Strummer by Four Pockets. Okay. And then we'll connect Strummer over to BS16. And we'll open up BS16 and let's go into our wave tables and select, uh, what do we select? This guitars pack. So now we've got guitars in here and we'll choose like a 12 string, a smooth 12 string. And now we can go in here to Strummer by Four Pockets, which I've done a show on. We can host this to the sync. And now I can turn on the ARP and check this out. strum this as well so with uh, something like strummer cool huh so you can do things like that or we could get rid of strummer and then open up uh, something like uh, let's open uh, scalar shall we because we had uh, we opened today with progressions, so then we can go in here to Scalar. We can send the output of this over to BS sixteen. Let's. Uh, I really should do the do not show this again. Uh, let's uh, choose some chords. We'll go into songs. We'll choose like. Uh, we'll go into cinematic and do some horror. That'll do, and we'll grab all of these. And we'll drag them down the bottom, go into our settings, turn on door sync, um, chord variation four, turn on loop. And then you can choose a different font pack, yeah? So we can go in here, choose our wave table, and maybe choose, uh, what do we choose? Uh, we'll choose um, essential keys. Now, We've got all these wonderful instruments. So we've got a Rhodes here. What else can we find? Uh, pianos. We've got uh, anything orchestral in here we can grab. We'll grab this uh, dynamic grand. We'll add some reverb. How about we add something like some black hole just here, just for fun. Uh, of course, you can open this up in MIDI layers. Yeah, you just add your MIDI layers here. So there's, I'll just put the question up so people watching the replay can see. Can you use MIDI layers? Of course you can. Just use it like a uh, normal MIDI layers. Go in here, layers. There you go. So just like you would any instruments, just open up multiple layers of BSI. Yeah. BSI. BSI. BS16i. Man, there's too many numbers and letters. So yeah, you can and then you can just connect this. Same, same as what you would do with uh that, yeah. Uh so let's let's go in here and connect this to um our output to number two as well. 
and we'll choose a different, can we choose a different sound font? Let's see. Wave tables. We'll choose this, uh, this one. Now remember, if you choose, if, for example, let me just b be straight up with you. If you open, if you open like four of these and you put a different sound font in each one, you're going to be pushing your iPad, man. <laughs> Because each sound font, remember what I said, is like 600 meg. And then you're loading a whole bunch of sound fonts into the RAM of your iPad. And remember, we don't get a lot of RAM in our iPads. You know, most of them are like six at the most still, or eight or 16 if you've got an M1. So be aware of that. If you're loading multiple sound fonts into each one of these, you're going to come up with some hassles. Let's uh, add some strings to this. See if we've got some strings in here. What do we got? Uh, we've got a cello. We've got a full orchestra. Let's add this full orchestra. Let's go. So pretty cool stuff. Seven bucks, yeah. Hi, Princess. So yeah, that's uh, definitely worth your time. And the I think the 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 most and and like remember what I said at the start. We'll just shut this out. And remember, if you're using these things, shut things out in the background. Yeah, close things out in the background. If you're using these and you've got multiple things going on, multiple sound fonts in. Uh, Shut down, swipe things away in the background, okay? Because if you've got, say you've got Garage Band open in the background, then you've opened AUM, these things are all competing for memory in the background and you will come across struggles. So, you know, do yourself a favor and shut down things in the background. Uh, but just finishing up here, remember, you don't need to buy the in-app purchases, Yeah. So you don't need to, but uh, you will get a 128 polyphony if you want to buy that. So it increases the number from 64 polyphony uh, to 128 and you get the HQ sound. Yeah. So those are the two things, but you don't actually don't need them. And the beautiful thing, once again, before we close off, is you can download as many sound fonts as you want. So it's t completely customizable completely up to you what sounds you put in there or what sounds you don't put in there lovely jubbly benubbly subly all right that's it for today i think we've covered everything on this and remember guys apps aren't pokemon you don't need to collect them all but if this thing floats your boat and you think you can add to your sounds think about it have a look at it watch the show again decide for yourself I'm not here selling you apps. I'm just showing you what they can potentially do for you so you can make an informed decision on if it's worth your time and money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, yes, do what Mr. Smith says. Please hit the like on the way out. It does help if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. If you would like to become a Patreon, you can do so as well. I always forget to do this at the end of the show because there is a Patreon link. And, it's, and during Song Timber, as always, I'm mastering your songs. So come and do that. Of course I did, uh, Princess. Of course I did. Uh, nearly 700 shows, Princess. All you need to do is search my name and the app and you will find it. Can you believe it, guys? I think we're four shows away from 700 episodes. 700 episodes. <laughs> I think it's going to happen this week. 700 episodes. All righty. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And remember, we all rise together. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I'm excited. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. -bye.
And remember, coming up on YouTube later today, in fact, very shortly in 40 minutes, is Pete Johns, Your Music Live. Live on YouTube. Because it's about you, not me, Tube, YouTube. <laughs>